fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. With the digital disruption happening in television and uh, terrestrial TV, it's going, it's going like crazy. People are saying terrestrial TV is going to disappear. Well, we know because it's all going digital. But how are high-end studios and broadcasters keeping themselves up with these technology uh, changes that are happening? Are they staying relevant? Now, here to chat to us about this and more is Global Access MD Brad Wilson. Brad, welcome to the Hi. studio. Now, just give us that geographical location because I kind of grew up in the city of Johannesburg where those magnificent magnificent studios are and well were and still are tell us exactly where we're talking about yeah. so so thanks Akia. Yeah, we we operate out of broadcast house yes. uh, which is in the cbd of joburg uh, broadcast house is actually a heritage building it's uh, almost eight years old since we broadcast and started in the country but television's undergone a tremendous amount of change mm. what impact is the digital change having to uh, making to your business so the, the, the DTT migration that, that is going to be taking place in, in South Africa, sh you know, hopefully soon, um, it's got, uh, the benefit to us is that obviously there'll be more television channels available. Yes. Um, so there'll be more content production, uh, more choice for consumers um, on, on what they can watch. So for us, the benefit is that uh, our studios will hopefully be busier yes. um, because people need to make content. But now in, we're hearing a lot about 4K. We were in Las Vegas earlier this year with the TechBusters team and we know that 4K is there. All the big manufacturers are bringing out these magnificent televisions. In fact, I'm busy uh, playing with this amazing Samsung television and looking at some content on 4K. is absolutely amazing, mm. but there's not enough content. Mm. Uh, are you producing content in 4K yet? Uh, what is the progress with 4K? Because I know content's a big issue. Mm. So 4K is actually an interesting question. So the, um, the first time, I recall the first time I saw 4K content, it was uh, at an overseas show, and I was like, you amazed. I yeah. came back and I said to the guys, you know what, we've got to upgrade, let's look at what we can do, how can we incorporate the business? So uh, we went through the different scenarios and, you know, it, it wasn't commercially viable at the time. Yeah. So, we, you know, the, the reason being, there's not many 4K distribution channels available at present, but obviously this is changing. So yeah. coming towards the end of the year, there should hopefully be more 4K channels online. Uh, 4K Blu-ray is, is, is coming out. What we have seen though, 4K in another area of our business, which is in the digital signage space. Um, 4K, like you've seen at, yeah. um, you know, we're at the IEC in Amsterdam in, in February, and every TV that you see or screen that you see is 4K compatible or 4K uh, content, even 8 and 12K, you know, so the stuff looks amazing. Um, so we've seen a, a, some, some increase in, in requirements for 4K in that space. And, um, you know, we've even created some 4K content, but specific to that environment. Imagine you've got HD, Toby Shapchak in HD. Now, just imagine him in 4K. <laughs> that will be like, uh, almost like a horror movie channel. But uh, on a serious note, uh, your, your studios are humongous. You've got these high ceilings and that. How do you stay relevant? Uh, and and is, it, is it a challenge to get those studios filled up and use them based on the fact that today we've got digital cameras that you can literally record a show anywhere, overlay the background images. You know, some people are saying we don't need these big studios anymore. You know, so I, in our opinion, I think studios will always or will be relevant for a long time to come, you know, uh, especially for the high-end productions. Mm. Those guys want good cameras, good facilities, you know, good equipment, all in a controlled environment. You know, when, when, you're, not, when you're in a studio, you can control what happens. Yeah. You, like you said, you can overlay backgrounds, you know, it, it becomes um, easier and, and better to, 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 to the production. Yeah. Um, so I think that they'll definitely be around for, for a long time to come. Uh, and you're also talking about the, the technology and how you're having to upgrade. Do you have to make a significant upgrade now that we're going to be migrating to uh, DTT and um, where we're not going to have analog television in the future? Does that impact your business? Do you have to make any changes to your business and your productions? Yeah, so no, I mean, we, we always stay relevant. You know, in our yeah. business, we've got to stay ahead of the curve, if, as they would say. So we, we're always constantly looking at ways of upgrading and improving and being more efficient. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to upgrade at the moment. Um, we are all fully digital. Um, so from a, a DTT perspective, there'll be real no impact um, to, to our business at all. Great stuff. Now, just out of interest, coming back to the 4K stuff that you were talking about earlier, for you to produce stuff in 4K, what changes do you have to make within a studio? Do you have to change all the cameras? I mean, is that a big jump in, in terms of the cost of taking a standard studio and upgrading it to 4K? Yeah, definitely. So the, everything pretty much has to change from the camera to the production desk to the workflow. Turnaround times will become possibly uh, longer because the content is that much bigger. 
Um, you know, when you record HD, it's X amount of gigabytes. Now when you 4K, it's, it's double that. So yeah. everything um, would, would require an upgrade to become 4K uh, compliant. So you reckon we'll have a uh, 4K channel on DSTV by the end of the year? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> no. You know, from a distribution perspective, if you look at a, a satellite and the way DSTV distributes content, the transponder, uh, you know, to, to deliver a HD channel is, is um, part of a transponder. Yeah. When you want to go 4K, you've got to double that. So the infrastructure they would need to distribute 4K at present would have to double if they had to keep if they had to, to replicate all their channels into 4K. If